Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. First attempt, Don't sink. take off from Don't KSLC, sink. was normal, and the flight was pleasant without any unusual occurrence that I am used to with the JAR product. I was curious how this landing will be done, because in fact this airport is not a target for airliner like the A320 or the B757. In the late afternoon, I couldn't e see the runway from a normal distance, although the weather was good. Then after all the blinking light came into sight, making clear that I should turn sharp to right. In fact, I was flying too near to runway, and normally I should make a G, A. But it is a simulation, so I tried to bring the aircraft in balance, and landed on the left runway side, at too high speed. Retard. 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 First green. Twenty. Thirty. Twenty. Now, sometimes things are going wrong, and sometimes things are going wrong all the time. In case of Friedman Memorial Airport, KSUN, the latter applies to. Why was it so difficult to land on runway 31 during day, and good weather conditions? There is only one fact I can mention. The runway is not aligned straight with the approach path. Trying to get straight to runway, at an optimal distance, is not possible because of the near mountains. I found myself struggling every time with this problem while skidding into a situation of approaching a too high altitude and too low speed. Too late to correct those parameter, I made unsatisfying landings. Second attempt. This time, I prepare landing straight to runway through adding two fixes after LIBYO. This was not a good idea because this fixes were in too short distance to runway. Speed was as needed, but the aircraft altitude was too high for a correct landing. Moreover, I forgot to block the front wheel that is necessary flying the A320 Neo, so the aircraft went in a zigzag during rollout. 300 200 One hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. Retard, 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 retard. Seventy knots. Flaps. Too low. Flaps. Too low. Flaps. Too low, flaps. Too low, flaps. Too low, 50, flaps. 40, Too low, 30, flaps. 40, 30, flaps. 20, retard, flaps. retard, 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 retard. First green. Seventy knots. Third attempt. Now I was sure to be at last able to make a smooth flight. Speed and altitude were as needed, but in the last second, I slipped to the right and landed on the right runway side with a jump of the left rear wheels as a result of rudder correction. 100 50 40 30 20 
Too low. Flaps. Too low. Flaps. Last attempt. I know now the route well, and although it is a short flight, I was frustrated not to be able to land the aircraft as it should be made. I said to myself that this attempt will be the last one. So I flew as on the chart advised, but this time I disconnected AP early at LIBYO to have enough time and distance to get the aircraft in balance at correct speed and altitude. Again I came down to runway too high, missing the runway middle line. To say the truth this was the end of persistent failures. Now I decided to go on with my project, landing at high-risk airports in the USA. Next target will be the Eagle Airport, KEGE. -E.